This is the first video of programming graphics in Roblox. I'm going to show you how to graph a um, heart curve, which is a plane curve traced by a point on the perimeter of a circle that is rolling around the fixed circle of the same radius. So first off, we're going to have a for loop, and the loop's going to start from the negative 1 and count to 1, but only step 0 0.01. So it's small increments. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to do is set up the values for the variables. So for example, Q, which is part of the formula for the hard curve, it's the math function of square root of 1 minus x times x, just getting the value from that, and the y0 value is going to be the square root of x times x minus q, and y1 is x times x plus q, xa is going to be y plus 1 times 160, and then ya is this, and yb is that. So the next thing we do is we want to instantiate a brick part. And that's done by creating a local variable called brick. And it's actually making it an instance of a new part in the game workspace. And you have to set the brick to be anchored. So set anchored equals true. Otherwise your bricks that are created will start falling from the sky as soon as they are created. And you don't want that. Unless you want a really cool rain effect. But that's not what we're going for right here. And the next thing is we want to name the actual brick itself. So I'm just taking the value of x and prefixing it into the, onto the word new brick. So each brick is going to have a unique um, value. Then the size of the brick is using the vector3.new. And what the vector3 is, it's just x, y, and z. So there's your three axes. And I'm going to make this brick, each brick is just going to be one size, one, one, one. So it's just kind of like a, like a little Minecraft block or a stud or something. You can play with these values for different results to make steps or pillars and things. But here's where you actually put the, the brick in the position of what's generated up here. And you'll see the values are plugged in here. So again, it's using the vector threes, which is the X, Y, and the Z. So the brick, this brick in this instance is going to be on X, A, on X, which is generated from these values. And then Y is going to be 200 minus the value of Y, A, which is generated up here. Z is not going anywhere, so we're just dealing with the X and Y coordinates, but you can feel free to play around with this value as well to get some other really cool effects. So the heart curve has two sides to it. So this is the one side. The next side is going to be this part right here, which is very similar to this section up here, except the positions are a little different. So the X is the same as XA, so the X isn't going anywhere other than that place. But the Y is going to change to 40 minus YB. That's the inverse size of that. And then 0 is the z position. And then it's going to go back up, add 0.01 to the value, and go through the whole loop again until it hits 1. And then it's going to end. So I'll go ahead and run it, and I'll show you it's going to draw the bricks so fast you won't see them drawing. So here we go. All right. So we're in the screen now. Let me back up a little bit. And as you can see, there is our giant heart curve, a mathematically drawn heart using individual row blocks, blocks. And there you have it. Feel free to play around with the block sizes to come up with some other results. You can make them wider, or longer, or taller, just for a different effect. Now I'll try that out. The size of the bricks. I'll make the X size just 1, the Y being 10, and the Z being 10. I'll do that for this, the other side of the heart curve. And I'll run this and you'll see some really cool looking results. There you go. Look how, look how different it looks now. You got a little bit of a Wari pattern up there. Oh. So as you'll see the more things you plot on the screen the more strange Roblox acts, but hey, it's got to keep track of all those, all those guys. There you go. Have fun.